quilts and I know I didn't upload videos this week but I've had a very busy week I had a paper crafting retreat that I went to over the weekend and life has just been very hectic so I just haven't had time to do any videos for my channel I didn't do a lot of recording on the retreat because a lot of ladies there were not used to me recording and they really did not want to be on the internet so I respected their wishes and I didn't even record my area in there because I was abutted against two other tables and it was a very small room so I just did not feel comfortable videotaping in there so I will upload what I did videotape I actually worked on an old project that I am now three quarters of the way done the last time you saw it it was actually only one quarter done so I'll upload a video with that when I get a chance to get to editing I did work on my paradox point block and I hope to get that video edited so it can be up on Sunday um, the reason another reason why my videos are late is because I had a lady contact me wanting to get five t-shirt quilts made and initially I thought they were going to be your traditional style t-shirt quilts but she wants all of the t-shirt fabrics cut into three inch squares and then sewed back together again so that's what I'm currently trying to do and the first one she would like to have by August 1st and so I did explain <laughs> that you know it take us a little while to get things done so this is actually a memory quilt her brother passed away a year ago on august 1st and she wants to present the first quilt to her mom her and her siblings so i am trying to get this quilt done and this is a most unusual quilt their grandmother used to make quilts where she just used two and a half inch finished squares and so they wanted the memory quilt to reflect the son and the grandmother style of quilt making because I thought it was strange that they wanted all the t-shirts cut into three inch squares irregardless of the logo so I have started cutting a lot of the clothing I received a box from her Saturday so I have in these containers I have five of these and this is the only one where I have all of the squares that I need to make one quilt. But I need 704 squares to make the quilt. And let me just pan the camera so you can see that I have my other four containers here. So I have a total of five, but these do not have all of the fabrics in them. So I first had to interface all of the t-shirts. And I think there was one sweatshirt and she had some athletic shirts like your dry weave shirts and then two pair of shorts. Now I haven't cut the shorts yet because I just needed to get going on this first one. And then in addition to that she also gave me some fabrics. She went to Joann's and purchased some fabrics that remind her of him. And so I have two stacks of fabric I'll say there are about maybe seven or eight different fabrics so now I'm just going to randomly sew these squares back together and make this quilt so it's going to be an interesting quilt and um, I just thought I'd let you know where I am and I'll maybe update in another video about this quilt but I just wanted to get this video up for you today so that you can know where I am and today is actually Tuesday July 11th <laughs> have to make sure I get the date right so I just wanted to let you know where I am and I will see you when I can um, get back to regular quilting bye bye Thank you. 